Alrighty guys, excuse the mess behind me. I'm going to use my free time before dance, like before I have to leave for one million to clean up. But here is a haul of everything that I got at the supermarket today. Supermarket as in convenience store because I couldn't find the supermarket. So, some emergency ramen for whenever I am not eating out because I will mainly eat out, which is kind of bad, but like by eat out, I mean I want to eat chicken. And then I got my favorite cereal, Frosted Flakes, or as it's called in Korea, Kon Purosutsu, corn, corn frost, like, okay. And it's just like a cute little box. I could have gotten the huge one, but I wanted to refrain myself. Down here, oh, ooh, ooh, so full, am I right? I got some, some delicious milk, some shinnen uyu, and that's just for my cereal. <laughs> And then I found these two cool flavored sodas that I thought were cute. So this one caught my eye because the packaging, like, hello packaging, it's called Rose of May Lemonade. And I'm assuming it's rose flavored lemonade. Two of my favorite things. So I got that. And then this is just peach soda. Also very cute packaging, but I thought it would be tasty. I never drink soda, but I will try these because they're so pretty. That is my haul for you guys. Exciting, am I right? Yes. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I have my backpack with all of my clothes in it to dance and I'm on my way to 1 million right now. It's going to take about an hour to get there, but that's totally fine. Um, I think I'm just going to buy a monthly pass because I do want to go like pretty much every day, like all the times that I can. I'm going to Isabel's beginner class. I always see her in the videos and she's so good and the videos that she's normally in, like the classes that she normally attends are like really hip hop -y style classes so I'm excited because I really want to improve like my hip hop dancing and you know like knife dancing skills so let's see how that goes. I'm so excited to go to her class. Hello everyone, what is up? As you can see, I'm in different attire right now. Um, I just finished my dance class. I was gonna go to the one like right after, but that one was really full. I guess Min Young is a lot more popular than Isabel, but I really like Isabel's style. She is like very like hip hop, and I knew that we'd do like a lit song, so <laughs> I wanted to go to hers. It was really fun. Um, I am so rusty. Like at the beginning, I like picked up the choreography pretty easily. But then like towards the middle for some reason I just like blacked out and I couldn't remember anything like even the beginning So when she was like Picking up groups to go up and just do it like today wasn't a filmy day it was part one Like I didn't get chosen just because like I was struggling so much and I was like fucking up so badly But then like by the very very end when she was like, okay, everyone come up and do it one last time before class ends like I got it and I'm ready to practice so I'm excited to go. She just looked at me. I'm excited to go back on Monday and do part two. Hey guys, so right now I'm in Hongdae. As you can see, it started raining. I have my, my book bag in the front so it doesn't get wet and I'm holding my umbrella. So I'm vlogging on my phone because I can't find my camera. But just because I had nothing to do, I came and visited our old house. So I'll show you, oh my God. Ah. <laughs> Memories. So right now it's four and my class of 1 million is at 7, so I should leave here around 5. Yeah, I just had like a bunch of time to kill because I woke up late, but it was like not enough time to go out and actually do something. So I'm just, you know, killing time, but it's raining, so it's not as busy. But yeah, I decided today would be a good day. Not a lot of people, so I won't feel awkward doing this. But I will go and show you guys what home day looks like, my favorite place. So this is the little plaza that I saw like Solnamu last year in the streets if you guys remember like on my last day or something So then like normally at night in these streets over here There's a lot of like those cover groups that do performances and everything And it's like super fun to watch them and stuff You'll hear a variety of different uh, chart music here as well Hang on let me show you like especially right here where I'm walking in these little circles there will always be like performance groups and stuff for you to see there were a lot last night it's just what home day looks like but here's a line friend store and this is like the actual like main street and the home day exit is like right up there as you can see there's forever 21 fun fact forever 21 is Korean as you can see, there's a tiny Taco Bell over there, and that's yeah, super cool. 
I'll try and go to a more populated area. Let's go. So, passing the Tony Moly and the Bershka. Sorry, you can't see a lot because my umbrella. The Bershka. <laughs> they have like all these little stores that sell clothes for really cheap. A lot of times it's around like 10,000 won. Here's some more like a sock store and the Chukai Museum. Yeah, like I've been to a lot of these stores to look and I'm pretty sure I bought clothes from some of these stores before. Oh, does anyone want some Supreme? <laughs> oh, this is a cool like vintage store. I want to check that out later. And just a bunch of like shikans. And then the infamous like light bulb soda. That's really just nothing. Okay, so I was trying to find this the other day, but this is like my favorite chicken like in Hongdae. Oh, there it is, Hong Cup. <laughs> and it's basically just, you know, Korean fried chicken in a cup. But it's like one of like Hongdae's like specialties. So I really like getting it every time I come. Lots of places will have caps. I remember last time I came here, I went home with like six ball caps. Kind of insane, but like, I mean, it was, it was lit. This is really like, a really populated street. That's what it looks like. Ah. And there is like a police, like a Korean tourist police right there that you can go to if you ever get lost. They speak English there, so if you ever get lost, just go to it. Um, if you can't find anyone in like a red, like literally they look like Paddington Bear, but they're just in red. Um, but they're just like the tourist police like walking around to make sure that you're okay. Most of the time, well actually no, they like should speak English. But um, yeah, you can just go to them if you ever need help getting somewhere. so much uh, oh well I'll just be that one person that everyone in the comments is like oh look she fucked up that means it's okay to not be good yep that's me hello hello everyone what is up it is a new day um, today's really like overcast that's why it's so dark it doesn't say that it's like going to rain but it honestly looks like it is like it's so gloomy and overcast um, today I really didn't do anything and I'm not proud of that Caitlin and I have just been texting all morning well for her it's nighttime but for me it was the morning which is when I should be getting ready but it was the only time that she was awake um so I got sucked in and I watched just like a shit ton of BTS videos and got caught up on all the billboard stuff because I was so behind and honestly all I can say is can we talk about Yoongi knowing English like I've known it this whole time that he knew English but like it's just so cute so anyway right now I'm just going grocery shopping because I'm like officially officially out of food and I googled like the nearest grocery store and it's like by subway i am so tired so i successfully made it to the supermarket i know all the different chains of supermarkets but for some reason in my area like within walking distance and everything there is no like latte mart or e-mart or home plus or like 
any of those like grocery store chains so anyway I had to take the subway <laughs> to go to the friggin grocery store I went to Sinchon area and it was really cool like it was like a mini Hongdae because it was like by uh, Iwa University cool purchase so back at home my friend Jade she got one of these in Korea when she went last summer and it's just like this toothbrush holder that sticks to your mirror via suction cup and she got the like a peach one and I finally found a Ryan one because I love Ryan there and this is like when I saw hers when I went to her dorm I was like this is what I want so I found it also I made a stop to Nature Republic I saw this at the cash register such a bad choice. Never buy anything at the cash register. But it's just like this Bath in Nature body massage gel. The cool thing about this tube is, let me show you. So if you can see inside, they're like little roller balls. So the middle like squirts out the like gel and then the sides are like little roller balls to massage your body. And I was like, my body is so sore right now from dancing and walking up all those hills and stairs and everything, especially in Gangnam and like this isn't even the beginning of it. Like, I've only been here, like, about a week, you know? So, I'm, like, trying not to die. I'm trying to stay active, but it hurts to, like, squat. Like, that hurts. And you got I didn't even go that far down. So, yeah. That's today. So, like, this is what I mean by there are a lot of performers here. Finally, I got my chicken. <laughs> okay, guys, so I just got home. Makeup off because I'm about to do a mask. My skin really needs it. I have been sweating from 1 million and then just like being too tired to take off my makeup when I go to sleep. And I've just been passing out with makeup on, which is bad, I know. And my skin's paying for it right now. So I bought a shit ton of masks and we're gonna do them every night until I get better. I just plugged everything in and I realized like how crazy my whole charging station is right now so i will show it to you because this is actually like low-key funny there aren't very many outlets in this apartment they have this thing and it's just this little power strip right so i have this plugged in which is my portable wi-fi egg Ta -da! so we have a power strip an adapter and then another little power strip thing so in it i just have my laptop plugged in which is up here and then my thing has two USBs and one is for my battery and the other is for my phone. So yeah, it's just a whole lot of cables and stuff right here and it's kind of funny. Also while we're just here, let's share some things that I bought today. Because I went to home day because I was bored and like tired. But I didn't want to just stay in the house the entire day and do nothing. So I decided why not go out to Hongdae, go for a little walk. It's not too stressful on my body like going to 1 million would be. I went to Innisfree and I told you guys I just got a bunch of masks. I'm not going to go into details of what masks they are because I just picked like a bunch of random ones to be honest. Um, but then I went to Artbox and I got some cute things. So first of all, I did not need to get this, but I got a tiny little whiteout. I saw this the first time I went to Artbox back in Incheon, and I thought that this was so cute, and I don't really need to buy this until I go to school in July, but I mean, it was, it was there, so. And then I just got more of these sticky notes that I got the first time in Korea, and I remember taking them to school, like to college with me, and I really liked them. The size, they were, I just thought they were cute, addition to everything, and I was running low. So I was like, I'll just get some more since I'm already here, haha. <laughs> and then last thing I got were this little letter set for you to mail. And I thought that that was cute because I might send letters to people. I don't freaking know. But like, how cute would that be? Like, oh, my friend's in Korea right now and she sent me a handwritten letter. Like, I think that's cute. I still believe in handwritten letters. Like text calls whatever you know but sometimes it's just it's just really nice to get a letter in the mail if i send these i hope it goes through because last time i went to asia i sent caitlin like three letters and she got zero of them sad and then while i was walking around in hongdae i really could not resist but i i bought one of those cheap like not really that cheap to be honest it's ten thousand won but like it's just one of those fake brand cases and i got a palace one Palace is a skateboarding brand, um, but it I thought it was so cute. It's black and pink. I was going to get white and black, and I saw the pink one, and I was like, ooh, that's such a nice color combination, and this is my favorite color pink. So, 
Yeah. <laughs> and that's everything that I got today. So yeah, as Jen gets more bored, she'll spend more money. But the thing is, is that I'm going to be here all the way up until August. I don't want to be like buying a shit ton now because I could definitely get everything I need in Korea like in a week. But I'm going to have to carry that everywhere and I don't really want to. So I'm trying to just like not spend any money, but it's hard to find things to do when you're by yourself that isn't shopping.